Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Amelia. Thank you for having me here at Sonora High School. I'm here today to talk to you about eating disorders. As many of you know, an eating disorder generally affects young girls from the ages 14 to 25. However, it does affect men as well. Despite the age or gender of its victims, an eating disorder has several lifelong side effects. As you can see from the slide behind me, Golly, why aren't you working? All of you Americans with all of your technology, with your cell phones and your Twitters. What's a Twitter anyway? It sounds like a bird. <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, an eating disorder has several lifelong side effects, some of which are anemia, low blood cell count, heart disease, chronic muscle pain, acid reflux disease, yellowing of the teeth, gum disease, <clears throat> hypoglycemia, also known as low blood sugar, poor judgment, depression, anxiety, and much more. The life expectancy of those with an eating disorder is drastically changed. Those with bulimia, 15 years. Those with anorexia by 30 years. I have personally witnessed firsthand what an eating disorder can do to a person, and I can say, it will change your life forever. <laughs> I remember at 15 years old, having to drop out of school for both anorexia and bulimia. Remember how ashamed I felt. And the whole school know that I had an eating disorder. I weighed under a hundred pounds and would cough up blood daily. My parents couldn't afford to put me in the hospital, so they had to do outpatient care. I would have to go to the hospital at least five times a week to get at least eight vials of blood drawn at a time. I was so scared. The doctor said I had a low blood cell count, so they had trouble finding a vein. So they would force it out by continuing to stab and stab and stab at my arm. It felt like razor sharp blades were hitting my skin. To this day, I can't look at a needle without crying or getting sick. My parents were so mad at me. They blamed me for costing us an arm and a leg. They said, why don't you just pray harder to Jesus to take the evil out of you? As if Jesus did this. Not the evil words of man. The things that we tell each other, you're fat, you're ugly, why are your teeth this way, go away, why are you like this? Humans can be so hurtful. I wish that the abuse would stop every day. But mostly, I wish I was dead. As you can see, an eating disorder is a real thing. It truly is a disease of the mind. Hello. Isn't it sad how pathetic this poor little girl is? Nothing's gonna save you now, sweetheart. <laughs> And you know what the funny part is? I'm not the one to blame. All of you are. You. Perfect little cheerleader. Pom-poms and your hair and your 
perfect attitude. You have the perfect attitude, don't you? You get all of your cheerleading friends to pick on her, to torture her, to abuse her. You're pets. You're ugly. You're worthless. <laughs> Little did you know, you created me. Congratulations. As for you, the pretty boy, the one who makes her feel loved, supported, it's okay, dear. Little does she know you have a bet going with all of your jock friends on when you're gonna fuck her. <laughs> then you do, and you leave her lying naked on the floor with nothing left but <coughs> me. <laughs> The parents are the ones to blame most of all. <laughs> Long before she even existed. Before I ever came into her life. <laughs> you sat down and made a list of who you wanted her to be. The jock. The cheerleader. The artist. The churchgoer. They wanted you to be a boy. <laughs> then she was born and wasn't at all what you thought she would be. <laughs> she was unique and different. <laughs> so you thought you could mold her, shake her into what you wanted her to be. Little did you know, you created me. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> And instead of you humans deciding to take responsibility for your actions, you know, realize your wrongs, you decide to put a definition of what I am. You want to believe the name you give me, which is anorexia, Ed, bulimia. <laughs> <laughs>